So the other day, I found a super cool folding stool. It goes like this. We're gonna see if we can make one of these. The first thing to do is to take an eight foot one by six and using the table saw, rip off a couple of two inch strips. The next thing is to take one of those strips and cut four pieces at 10 inches or 25 centimeters and four pieces at 15 inches or 38 centimeters. These are going to be your legs and the part that holds the tabletop. If you look here on our sample, these are our short pieces at uh, 10 inches or 25 centimeters, and these are the long pieces at 15 inches or 38 centimeters. Next, we just need to round the ends. We're gonna round one end of the short pieces and both ends of the long pieces. What we want to do is find something that is a circle that's about the same diameter as the width of the piece of wood. And then we're going to trace a half circle on the end of each piece, like this. Let's do the rest. Now we're going to go cut these out. I'm going to go cut both ends of the long pieces, cut and sand, and one end of the short pieces, cut and sand. Cut pretty close to the line, but not over it and then we'll sand it to perfect. To sand it, we're just gonna roll it back and forth like this. Pretty good. A Little bit of hand sanding for the edges, and that'll be good. Just gotta do the other seven pieces. Once you're done with your preliminary sanding, and rounding of the short pieces and both ends of the long pieces. Stack these together, make sure the ends are flush, and take a clamp, clamp them together like this, and then we're gonna re-sand them to make sure that they're all exactly the same. Sand them like this. Next, we have to drill a hole in the end of all of these and get them in the same place so they all line up. We're using three quarter inch doweling. So we'll use a three quarter inch spade bit and then we're just gonna measure a spot that's right in the center and five eighths from each side and from the end. So there's our X, and what we've done is we've made sure that this is the same distance from here, same distance from here, and the same distance this way. With all of our pieces clamped down to the drill press, we're going to drill through four pieces at a time. So we get a nice straight hole. There we go. And for the second set of four, we're going to use one of the long ones that we've already drilled as a guide so that we get all the holes lined up. There we go. Now in case there's any variations in the holes, I'm just going to draw a line across here. And that will let me know that this is the way up they go so that I don't accidentally flip one this way. If I'm a little bit off center with my hold, as long as I keep them all facing the same way, it'll work out. If I start flipping them like this, 
and the hole's not quite centered, then there's going to be level changes, which we don't want. I'm also now going to gently sand each piece just by hand, just the edges here and down here, just so they're all nice and kind of clean and not super sharp. We'll do all eight pieces. Just do a nice job sanding so that all the edges are nice and smooth and there aren't any chips anywhere. Next thing we're going to do is we have to drill the pivot hole in the long pieces. Next we're going to take one of the long pieces and we're going to measure five and a half inches or 14 centimeters from the center of that circle and we're going to make a little mark. And then we're going to measure crossways to find the center again. And we're going to drill holes through all four of the long pieces, just like we did before. Next, take a piece of three quarter inch doweling and cut three pieces, one at 30 centimeters and two at four centimeters, or 12 inches and an inch and a half. Line up your pieces like this, with the short, long, long, short, short, long, long, short, and then slide the doweling in across there, the long piece. Once you've done that, you'll be able to flip this piece up and slide the short piece in right here. Take a look. So once I have that together, I can lift that up, take one of these, and pop it in that side hole. Same with the other side. Pop it in there. Good. What we want to do now is put in some finishing nails so that the doweling doesn't fall out, but it still needs to pivot. So we're going to put a finishing nail in here and here and then we're going to put one in this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Next we're going to make our handles. So we're going to take a couple of those 14 inch pieces and we're going to decide how we want to carve them. On our sample, it's just got a simple uh, indentation there, so we can do the same or we can try something a little more creative. For the simple handle, we're just going to measure the center at seven. I'm going to take our little circle here that we used before line that up with our line here and trace it. And we'll go cut that out. Cut out that first handle and use it to template the second handle just by stacking them together and tracing. The handles go on in line with the shorter pieces there. You can either do them flush or just have a little gap between them. You can see on our sample we've got a little gap there. I'm going to make that gap a little bit smaller, so just having it a little bit close. You could put it all the way up just below there if you wanted to. Just need to give it enough room to open. And make sure that it's centered, and then we're going to attach it with some screws. I'm going to use screws and some glue because they're a little stronger and I'm also going to use a countersinking bit after I drill it so that I get a nice flush uh, screw head. There we go. The most important thing that you need to remember with this step is that one handle connects to the two outside legs and the other handle connects to the two inside legs. If you mess this up, your stool will not unfold properly. The next thing to do is to attach your stool top pieces. 
Uh, these are three of the uh, 14 inch pieces that we cut. The top, you can actually do whatever you like with. I'm just gonna do three pieces lined up like that. And I'm gonna attach them with some glue and the nail gun so that you can't see it uh, as much when it's open. But there are a lot of different uh, ideas for design for this. Here's a few of the ideas for design. You can do some nice laminated boards like this. You could laminate and install them on a diagonal for this type of effect. You could do something like this kind of pattern. Or if you really want a challenge, how about a chessboard? So I have now attached my tabletop just using the air nailer. I could have used screws for that as well, but I thought when I opened it, that's a little bit less uh, visible. But you could use screws if you like. The biggest part here that is important is that if I've attached this handle to the two inside legs, this tabletop needs to be attached to the two inside short pieces. And on the other side, this handle is attached to the two outside legs, and this tabletop is attached to the two outside short pieces. Now in order for this to unfold properly, we actually have to cut the doweling in between these two pieces and these two pieces, which we put why we put the nail in here. So the, this nail and this nail hold this piece of doweling, and this nail and that nail hold the little piece that's gonna be left in here, and in here. So we're just gonna cut that with a hacksaw. So now I've got my tops on both sides. I've cut the doweling here and here. So when I open it, I should be able to just reach in, pull each side like this, push it apart. And there's my table. I hope you enjoyed this easy carpentry project. Tune in for more.